Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episode eight of Reacher. So the season finale. What'd you think of the last episode? Last episode was brutal. We pretty much have led up to this moment. Yeah, I think everyone is in the same vicinity. So I'm sure we're gonna have plenty of killing and justice and revenge. So the Reacher way, we have a couple of people captive. So it's not like it's a full on attack from one side to the other. There's gonna have to be some trickery going on, but I'm excited to see how the season ends. I mean, it's been such a great ride up until this point. So I've been loving it. Yeah, me too. So I'm excited for the finale. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. Surveillance photos don't do you justice. It's a little bit bigger in person. You're gonna make a hell of a hole when you hit the ground. That's not what you said. You said you'd let everyone leave. <laughs> Climb on. No. It's gonna need something a little bigger. You weren't in charge. <laughs> oh, wow. This is kicking off already. Immediately. Oh. Dang, kicking ass with just his legs. We both know you can't shoot me till you find her. She's your last loose end. I can't shoot you. <gasps> oh no! Where'd he get shot? Sit down, we're gonna talk. Is he working on those handcuffs yet? I don't know. That was a lot of action to just be right back where we started. Six, dig that slug out of him. We got him right where we want him, boss. Probably his leg, I'm guessing, then? Time for Neely's entrance. Unfortunately, they know. One, two. Okay, both down. No one the wiser. Perimeter guards neutralized. What's your ETA? Three minutes out. Copy that. The senator's people, I'm guessing? Yeah, it's gotta be. I still end up with my toes in the sand. Ron's ass on my lap. Okay. Where is she? I don't think you, you seem can... upset. I offered to cut Swan in. Where is he? He's here. Kind of what we thought. But is it just pieces of him? Oh, fuck. It looked like he took the money and ran. Even leaving his poor dog behind. So uh, I'm guessing Swan's dead. I don't think they got those things and kept him alive. Had to be a hero. Did you teach him that? Is this your fault? That's your fault. You did it. No matter what I do, you're not going to tell me where Neely is, are you? Yeah. She's right outside. They get dropped off by plane? Oh. Sweet. Damn. That's an entrance. Find Neely's father. Pick him up. That ought to flush her out of the woodwork. What do you think? Oh, nice. Don't drop this. Reacher. <laughs> Are those fucking kids back? Go run them the hell out of here. We don't want any witnesses when we leave. Ooh, you're uh, running out of guys to be around you. I thought I told you kids to stay the hell away from here. <laughs> Come out and kick my ass. Go find out why that fucking music is still playing. Reacher's free. Uh oh. <laughs> the fuck is going on? Man, before the bottle dropped. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Thanks for the gun. Oh my god, every gun is- oh! <laughs> Jefferson Airplane? Or no Hendrix? I'm a swan. Hendrix is overrated. <laughs> it's just going up in the air! It's gonna take a few minutes to warm up first! Two minutes? How much ammo you got? Not enough to cover your slow ass. Ha <laughs> 
bitch. <laughs> Come on, Reacher. You gotta run faster. Oh. Oh. Shit. Just hanging on for dear life. Swinging. The back doors. Oh yeah, open it so Reacher can get in. <laughs> Time for you to fly. <laughs> oh. Oh yes. Uh oh. Don't shoot the pilot. Oh no! Damn, he's gotta unstrap these people. Fuck! Oh, Holy, I thought she was gone. Uh. Jesus Christ, Richard! You just don't know what to do. Come on, O'Donnell. Oh. Someone get loose. There you go, Dixon. Mash your skull! Or you can let the bitch fall. <laughs> oh. Yes! Thank God. Wait. You just stood there while that was happening? You better hold this thing steady. Or we're gonna find out the hard way if I can land it. <laughs> wait, 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 no! <laughs> Reacher told you. You assume that's the information I need, Langston. Assumptions kill. <laughs> Bye. We know where the hell I am headed. I don't, but he does. Oh, good. Look, I have the coordinates. Please just don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Take us there. He's just a pilot. All right, that was stressful as hell. I thought we were gonna lose Dixon. Like I thought it was so gonna be I. like, a, "You have to let me go, Reacher" type of moment. Oh, they're already here. Excellent. Langston's already here. Traps waiting for you. A.M. Oh. <laughs> they wasted no time. Get inside. Now, what's the plan here? They gotta find out who he was going to sell these to. You don't care how many people die so long as you get your finder's fee. Oh, arrest me and get it over with. Uh. You wish. Between the seller of the gun or the user, I prefer to be the seller. Actually, pull the trigger is no better. Oh, enough talking. I thought there would be maybe a showdown, but they just lit him up. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what's next? I don't know. He wasn't going to say anything anyways. All he would do is potentially escape. If you have this, just try it. <laughs> Shoot the helicopter or something. Get O'Donnell to a hospital. Please, I'm just an engineer. Uh, I believe the pilot. Engineers are dirty. Get out of here. Both of you. Oh, wow. Um... Are you gonna try one of these Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No loose ends. Sorry, pilot and engineer. It's just limping everywhere. I think we're good, Neely. Oh. And yeah. Reroute. Oh. I guess little wing works. <laughs> uh, I knew it. I thought you might make a move as soon as I let him get on the chopper. Me too. 
Maybe they just really wanted to see me shoot those assholes down. <laughs> it was cool. I also called Omar Kareem in Homeland. I think that's him now. Oh my God, what a twist. Gotten him pretty close. Is government ever efficient? Thought you might want to do the honors. All right. He gets them and the senator. <laughs> Every time he calls, is it done? Not the way you wanted. Is it over? Almost. There's just one last loose end that needs tying up. <laughs> Where's the money? What money? <laughs> 65 million, huh? They look rough. Coffee. Black. Cereal. Pops, puffs, and pebbles. In that order. <laughs> Investigators are blaming the tragedy on system malfunction. Nice. What a cover up. Got 50 cents. You have 65 million. <laughs> Your boxes don't take bear bonds. What's our final song? Start me a new tab. <laughs> Do not lose that. Is it gonna be some blind Blake? Pretty sure that's who it was in season one. It can't be for my brother. Oh. Take care of the spot. Got you. <laughs> Send us a false card. <laughs> Dang, okay, you spend that money quick. <laughs> hey, do we know someone named Swan or a dog named Maisie? <laughs> oh, her dad. I'm part of the team that's been hired to provide you round the clock medical care. That was, that was so nice. Ooh, end it with another campfire. I would tell you you're a good friend, Reacher. Not nearly enough. <laughs> What the world's scariest Santa Claus put under my tree this year? I didn't give you a penny. <laughs> oh. But I put a shitload in your kids' names. It'll cover private school tuition, college, from the looks of it, the defense lawyers they'll eventually need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, speechless. Not so first. I never doubted you, O'Donnell. <laughs> I started a Delaware LLC in your name, fully funded. You're too smart to be working for anyone but yourself. Thank you. What about you, big dog? Oh, he took nothing. I need a new toothbrush. We should take another picture. Guess you're not gonna let me just take this one either, huh? No <laughs> chance, boss. Such a small group. I know, from what they had before. Just another motel room. Good, you're awake. Ooh, with Dixon. I thought you'd gone. Got you a present. <laughs> now you can actually get yourself something with the money. There's something else you can do. I really want you to meet my parents. Uh oh, that's scary. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Before this meeting's adjourned, I think this particular item needs one last going over. <laughs> this might take more than a minute. Oh. <laughs> that's not what O'Donnell said. <laughs> I can ride the bus anywhere in the country for a year. That's $1,980 of freedom, Haley. Nice. He doesn't have to hitchhike. You need to get better at staying in touch. Yes, Master Sergeant. Bye, Neil. That was close enough. <laughs> where are you coming from? Visiting family. Oh. So where are you headed? No idea. All right, that was episode eight of Reacher finishing season two. What'd you think? That was great. Yeah. Um, it was a very quick episode. I kind of wish that we got a little more. Okay. Um, but for the length of the episode, it was great. Yeah, that was the shortest episode of the whole season. Yeah, the showdown went basically what should be expected. I mean, these guys had no idea what they were doing and Reacher just went in there and kicked some ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the uh, the plan to just kick ass inside and then for Neely to kind of take out the outside people, they had a lot of help from those Rangers and Navy SEALs that dropped in from the Senator. Um, so they just dominate, like they just wiped through them pretty much. Yeah. And as expected, uh, Reacher held up his, uh, 
end of the bargain or promise or whatever to throw him out of a helicopter. The helicopter scene was extremely intense. I was very worried there for Dixon. Yeah, I mean, for me, it was believable because I know that like the Reacher story kind of like jumps from place to place or time to time. So it's like we didn't really have too much interaction with the season one characters. So I was like, OK, like we could lose Dixon here. That would make sense. And it was one of those situations where it was like, Reacher, like you have to let me go so that you can stop this person. Yeah. Um, and Dixon is definitely the type of person to sacrifice herself for saving lives. Yes. So I genuinely thought we, we could have lost her or O'Donnell. It's just, she was the one hanging out of the helicopter. Right. It was a very tense moment up there in yeah. that helicopter. Um, I love that they always just kind of work with whoever's left. Like he was ready to get rid of Langston. Langston's begging for his life. He's like, you don't know where this guy's gonna go, anything, and just takes him out. And he's like, well, I'm sure the pilot knows. <laughs> yeah. But they were not afraid to just like take people down. They get to the engineer's house. They took out that guy they had hijacked the missiles. AM. No, the side guy. They took him out as soon as they opened the door. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. The second they opened the door, bang, headshot. And yeah, and then AM goes in and they just, I mean, they gave him a shot to ask. Um, I don't think they ever intended to do anything but kill him. It was just like, hey, do you want to give us this information? No. All right. Um, yeah. And they lit him up. Yeah. I mean, he was such an elusive person that giving him any extra time would just give him an opportunity to think of a way out of this or to fight back or something. So they, like you said, lit him up. Like that was awesome. Yeah. Um, I was, I guess, a little bit more surprised on the whole Senator flip. Yeah. That shocked me a little bit more. I called that. You did. <laughs> I just didn't really think the Senator would be that stupid. I guess I was giving him more. More credit. Credit. Yeah. It just seemed like the way that he was having that conversation with Reacher and like the zoo and stuff. Like yeah. he wanted absolutely zero trace. Well, trace includes Reacher. And like, right. we had so much conversation with Langston tying off loose ends and stuff. I just had a feeling that the Senator would be willing to try to take out Reacher to cover his own ass. Yeah, and at least the Senator was sending like qualified people to do so. Yeah, I mean, he sent freaking Rangers and Navy SEALs. Yeah, versus everyone that Langston had been throwing at Reacher the whole season. But that was a great moment for them to be like, oh, you're surprised? And they're like, well, we're just surprised it took you this long. Like, we thought you were gonna try to betray us way earlier. Yeah, so they still took down the copter uh, using the missile. I wanted them to use it just jokingly around. Like, I meant like, shoot the helicopter. One is just like, like, on the ground. Yeah. But when they sent the uh, engineer and the pilot, and then they like Neely starts prepping the rocket, I'm like, oh my God, they're really going to use this thing. Yeah. I thought they were actually maybe going to let them go. But at the same time, it was like the one person that knows how to attach those chips. Yeah. That engineer is dangerous. Yeah. Um, and he was willing to obviously go all in on it. It didn't really seem like it was out of fear. It was a money thing for him as well. Yeah. So. We got to see it in action. <laughs> it was cool. It did exactly what it was intended. Yeah, it missed and then comes back around, gives you that false sense of hope. I honestly would be very interested to have seen what panic was ensuing in that copter. Right, the pilot was the like, time. oh my God, oh, we're fine. Oh, <laughs> the engineer's like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great to know that Reacher like prepped for that and kind of like to double up on what you're saying. Like, I like when our good guys don't mess around with the bad guys and like let them explain or get away with things. Like Reacher just Chuck Langston out of the helicopter pretty much. That AM guy, they all took turns. Like, well, they all shot him at the same time. Yeah. You know, cutting off the loose ends with the uh, helicopter. I like how they brought in Homeland, tying that back into the guys that used to work with Joe. Yeah. And like this elusive guy that kept getting away from them. Yeah, especially uh, because they didn't give Homeland anything. Yeah. <laughs> the first time <laughs> they talked. <laughs> so that was great. Obviously it was a bummer about Swan. Um, we got the confirmation that he was dead. Yeah, we were both pretty hopeful that he was going to be just alive somewhere in that facility. Right. 
But I mean, it made sense. Like they just needed his eye and his finger. So that's all they kept. Yeah. Not surprising though for Langston and the, the lengths he was willing to go. And then I loved what they did with the money. Yes, that was real cool. Yeah, I feel like that was the perfect way to end the season. Obviously, Reacher only taking a toothbrush and he took a bus pass, which was cool. Yeah, that was surprising. Yeah, but the way that they were able to give the money away and distribute it, you know, to Franzi's family, to uh, Sanchez and Orozco's family and friends, and then, you know, even Swan donating to the animal rescue. Yeah. There was just so many good things. Obviously taking care of Neely's dad. Neely's dad getting uh, Dixon, like her own business, essentially. Um, O'Donnell's kids. Yeah, setting up O'Donnell's kids. I carried my suspicion of O'Donnell way too far into the season. And I really, really liked his character. I mean, I really liked everyone in this episode or this whole season. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was, I was waiting for more uh, like a backstab type of moment. Just kind of, I was a little maybe too attached to the first season where we had like supposedly a trusted person turn at the very like last minute. Yeah, um, uh, honestly, the second that the uh, senator's team uh, like turned on them and you were like, oh my God. And I was like, oh fuck. For a second I was like, was that O'Donnell? Like thinking that like that was the moment he was gonna switch or something just cause you had ramped it up so much the whole season. <laughs> I'm so sorry, O'Donnell. <laughs> All he did was do everything he possibly could, get shot, <laughs> get stabbed or whatever. Be a great dad, be supportive of Jane. <laughs> yeah, oops, sorry. <laughs> um, also, uh, Russo's family, like taking care of his yeah. brother and like his children and stuff. That was sweet. Um, so it was just awesome. And it was such a badass moment too, like finishing this epic fight and then walking to the diner and just like four just totally beat up people sitting down with $65 million. And I love that the waitress just... <laughs> a rough night, huh? Yeah. What can I get you? I, I loved that. And I feel like it's kind of like a sad ending. I feel like the first season, it made sense for Reacher to kind of just keep moving. You know, like this wasn't necessarily his home. Like these are all kind of relatively new people. But this one, especially the way that that ended with like Neely and Reacher to be like, you know, we're more than just your crew or like your team. Like obviously she was hinting at family, just Reacher didn't really say anything. I think obviously just not saying words there was enough spoken. Yeah. But then inside the bus where Reacher said like, I was visiting family, that's kind of like the confirmation that he views these people as family. So to see him just on a bus to nowhere, leaving his family who are all primarily in this general area, it just felt a little sadder. It did. Um, obviously he has so much more connection with all of these people to consider them family versus the first season. Besides obviously Neely, who we saw in the first season, but she was back for this one. So I'd be very curious to see how they're going to go on to season three. Cause I assume that we're gonna continue to move the story forward and we're not gonna jump back, even though I think this is further along in the books. Yeah, like I said, I think the first season was book one. And I wanna say this one was like well into the series. So I like knowing absolutely nothing about these books yeah. because I have no idea. Like, do we pick up a book with the same team again? Like, are they ever in other books or are we never gonna see the special investigators again? Um, and we're just gonna have a brand new story with Reacher in some like nowhere town again. So I have yeah. no idea. Like, could they possibly pick up kind of where they left off with the trail of like, maybe going overseas to hunt down the people who were trying to buy these weapons or something? I mean, I guess, cause that is the the only kind of open end part of this story. Yeah. But yeah, I'd be very curious to see how, how this is gonna play out. Um, if we have another time jump, like from the last one, if we only get cameos like with Finley, but I, I did really like this crew together. Yeah, especially with Neely saying like, I'm not really comfortable with only seeing you every couple of years yeah. under fire. Like, yeah. so it makes me believe maybe season three won't be so far away in terms of timeline. Like, timeline. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how they're going to handle this. I don't even know if they have announced at this point. I don't know. I mean, season. I know season one did very well. Yeah. Hopefully season two is doing very well. So I would love to see a season three confirmation, maybe with like the writer's strike and stuff. 
it will severely delay a season three or something. Yeah. So I have no idea, but I really, really enjoyed season two. It's hard for me to tell which season I like more. Season one, obviously there's probably a lot of nostalgia with that already for me, but season two, I mean, the characters are so good. The comedy was great. The action was amazing. Um, it was just so compact and like sleek and it wasn't over bloated. Like we're not like overall this, season is a very short season. Yeah, very short. Even the episodes are very short. Yeah. Um, which I don't know if that's how long these episodes were in the first season, potentially. It's been a little while, <laughs> but uh, I loved this season. I love the characters. Obviously, I really liked Russo, so that was still a bummer. <laughs> still. And I'm, we're not ever going to get more Russo for sure. But yeah, I'd be very interested to see how they plan to move forward with the series. Yeah. And whatever they do, we'll be there enjoying it because yeah. this is excellent. Yeah. So if you'd like to see the full length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us and any other types of social media, all those things are in the description as well. And with that, peace everyone. Bye. Bye.